Hello ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's Dezo here, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Recorded some stock footage from a YouTuber called MF Cerberus. Now, I think he allows people to use his content as long as they, um, what's it called, uh, annotate him, I don't know. I'll put his channel link in the description below, I'm not too sure if he's still uploading. But either way, go hit this video a like. Um, and yeah, today we're going to be talking about CSGO gambling. Now, it's a massive story in the news, BBC news. Um, all the news stories are covering it. They they will do at least soon when the court case arrives or whatever the lawyers and that are doing. But basically, all the information I've received for this video is from Scarce and taking a look at the YouTubers, sorry videos and whatnot has been uploaded. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Scandal that's been... Um, proven and shown by uh, T. Martin and Syndicate. And if you don't know who those two are, T. Martin is a very popular YouTuber with, I think, 2.5 million subscribers, and Syndicate even higher, reaching recently 10 million. And basically, they were involved in a scandal where they were promoting a CSGO gambling website, which is CSGO Lotto. And to be fair, most of you guys have probably heard about this if you're fond of CSGO, but if you don't know who Scars is, go ahead, check out his videos, and he's recently uploaded a load of them about the scandal, so be sure to check them out if any information I give out isn't um, given off correctly or whatever. So basically what has happened is the two uh, YouTubers were advertising CSGO Lotto as though they um, had no part in the website, they were claiming they uh, were new to the website and they were advertising the website without disclosing the fact that they were the owners. Now, of course, that's some illegal stuff and a lawyer high in the community commented stating that it was highly illegal and um, they were contacting something called the FTC or FTB. Um, it's like a court hearing or something about how they basically committed fraud by advertising the website to the public and now they also know that since their audience is a high amount of underage like under 18 children I think that should also be something illegal because they have stated many times in their other videos like oh I know my I know the majority of my YouTube uh, viewers are under 12 or something like that and if they have said that in the video then the fact that they're advertising a gambling website too and like suggesting that they should play this and check it out and gamble and whatnot then I suggest I well I expect that to be illegal because you know, he's aware of the underage, but still promoting, uh, I just think that's uh, quite illegal as well. Now, basically what's happened is they created several videos advertising the website CSGO Lotto, suggesting that they had no part of the website. They said, uh, go check out this website, um, I've just won this much, and, you know, it's a new website, I've just found it, when actually they were already owners of the website. Um which is completely fraud, it's highly illegal, and basically that's what they were putting off, they were suggesting that they were new to it, when actually they had patent, uh, not patents, it was percent ownerships, co-ownerships, the two of them, before they'd even uploaded the first video, I believe, the first video of the profile. Um, if you don't know all the screenshots and everything, Scars has uploaded them into his um, old video. I'll probably put that into the uh, description. Now, basically, what I want to talk about is gambling overall. Gambling is an addiction. That is why, you know, that is why there's Gamblers Anonymous and just many many things on online talking about gambling now if you think gambling is an addiction then I think you should attempt to gamble um, if you are that ignorant to believe that gambling isn't an addiction feel free to spend half of your money like half of everything you own half of your next paycheck half of whatever's in your bank spend half of that and then I guarantee by the time you spent the other the first half you'll be contemplating about using the other half um, basically gambling as a whole is not good now when you're bringing it into your hobby like CSGO 
things start to get a little bit touchy because why would you risk you know a virtual game it's virtual it's all virtual you are purchasing risking buying whatever selling virtual items these items basically have zero currency these items could drop down to a penny within a second a second of valve's choice valve could say oh no scrap counter strike and all of the items will drop down to a penny you know you're betting on finite amounts of uh, potential you've got minor risk you've got nothing backing you whereas it's basically like stock markets but stock markets they are virtual but they're also real because you have percentages in a real business but that's why people don't purchase stocks in virtual businesses such as game companies and usually sometimes yeah they have a nice uh, streak of luck when they purchase stocks in an upcoming valve that they hear about 10 years ago whenever it started 12 um, but it's very risky because it's all virtual nothing is real nothing is handheld you're not going to have a guaranteed percentage of something that is in real life it's all major risk now when you're betting CSGO skins yeah you get CSGO skin drops like gamma cases new cases that have been released and yeah you can get a bit of cash and trade up with that but when people actually begin using their own currency their own real real value money that can purchase you food water drink even a home then then it becomes a problem because you're purchasing real items like you're risking your real items for virtual items and i really don't see a purpose in that because I, I've attempted gambling, yeah, 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 I'm underage, I mean, is it illegal? Well, how can they track it? It's online, it's all, you know, what website did I go on? I don't know, it's literally so untracked that anybody can do it. I've encountered many people l younger age than me, I'm only 15, and I've encountered people 11, 10, 12, who said oh yeah i gambled this the other day i gambled a knife i got i got this i got that but the odds are that you're going to lose it all and the fact that an 11 year old can actually gamble you know where are the parents i the reason i was able to gamble is because i have my own debit card i can you know take my money from work and actually use that through my debit card so it's not like i'm using parents fund i only spent 20 pounds but you know twenty pounds is twenty pounds it's money that i no longer have and it's money that i did have and it's all now virtual gone to wherever it went now i don't really want to bore you guys but basically you know all you're doing is risking there is no point risking for such a minimal gain you could go to a casino and play blackjack for you know twenty hours and earn more than you ever would with the same starting amount as you would on a CSGO betting website because the odds aren't in your favour. The it, That's why it's betting. The odds are never in your favour. There's always that slight percent chance extra than you that the house will win. On Even on games where the house doesn't put anything in, you still have that percent chance of losing which is a bit strange, it may seem it. Coin flips, if you look at coin flips, there's usually a percentage of that coin flip that's taken away from you. And even though the house is not involved at all, the house is the casino owner, even though the house is not involved at all, you still have that loss of when you win. So that loss isn't 100%. And then you have the percent chance of losing so overall the house has a fully high percent chance or the other person the other person has the same chance as you but the house has a high percent chance because it will always take a cut now for roulette there's always the green even on some websites there's a gold but each different one other than red and black or whatever it is the main one ctt um, that's an extra percent chance for the house winning now the house doesn't put anything in roulette either but it still has i think a one in 14 chance of winning um and it wins 
all of the losses. So it's usually a high amount that the house wins off that. I think the only thing that the house puts in is... No, there's nothing. There is nothing. CSGO betting websites, the owners of the website do not put anything in. Other than blackjack, I guess. Blackjack would be the only case of uh, when you could lose. I've not found a poker website. I found blackjack, but not poker. So, when you're risking all of your money, everything you own, everything in-game you have, maybe it's just, you know, items you've accumulated from the game. Yeah, that's alright if you feel like risking it, but it's money that you will not have because you're risking it. You could sell that and have guaranteed money, but instead you would rather risk it to try and get more. That's greediness. That's what gambling does to you. It's a gambling addiction. You want more, you take that risk to try and get more. Jackpots are all the same, and then when you find out about these rigged websites, CSGO Lotto, yeah, it's advertising to get a higher promotion, but maybe, are they rigged? I mean, we've not found out that these websites have been rigged, but we have found slight evidence of Team Martin logging into a bot, maybe being in an endless loop of wins, but we're not 100% certain. So, how do we know these websites are rigged? We can't. If these websites are rigged, you have an even lower percent chance of winning. And it's just risking stuff that you don't have. Yeah, you could spend 10... Say you spend £10. $10. Let's say the currency is the same. £10, $10. You purchase... You think, alright, I'm going to go online, I'm going to gamble. This is the only £10 I have. This is the only money I have for today. I've got £10 for today. Instead of going out, I'm going to spend it. I'm going to put it on uh, CSGO Wild. Right, I've bought an M4A1S Cyrex um, Minimal Wear. We've just traded it to the CSGO Wild bot and automatically you've received less gems than that currency is worth. So your £10 ten dollars has just dropped to nine point five because the house takes a cut. So you've just dropped down to nine pound fifty or nine dollars fifty cents. You've automatically lost money already. Now then, so you go into a coin flip, you go to you've got fifty cents and you think, alright, ah, I'll get rid of that fifty cents, I'll just throw it on a coin flip throw that coin flip and you hit it, you hit the coin flip, you are now on £10.50, $10.50, oh wait, no, the house took a cut, the house took a 20% cut of your winnings, so you're only on £10.40, uh, £10.40, $10 40, uh, because it took a 20%, which is not 10 So now the house has earned 60p, and you've gained 40p. The house hasn't lost anything whatsoever. And now you think, alright, there's a jackpot there. There's a jackpot. People are going in. I'm going to throw five, five gems in that jackpot. And now you have a 20% chance of winning. So even if you win that, the house is still going to take a percent cut. So the Say the jackpot's thirty, your tens, uh, your five is in there. You, you're down to five pound forty, five dollars forty, and you've lost the pot. The house still makes profit because it's taken a cut of all, all that guy's winnings. Say it's taken a twenty percent cut. The house has now gained six dollars, whatever, six dollars fifty, six dollars sixty, and now you're down to five dollars fifty. And you're sat there thinking, right, I'm on the last bit of my money. What am I going to do? I know. I'll go all in on a coin flip. And then I can just double. I can double what I have. And we will be back in business. We'll do another coin flip after that. And then you lose the $5.50 coin flip. Now what's 20% of 5.50? I think... 
one ten, one pound ten, one dollar ten. So now the house is up seven dollars. You are down ten dollars fifty. Well, ten dollars that you put on. You are down ten dollars. The house is up seven, and yeah. So basically, the house put nothing in. You put everything you had for that day in. You've lost a lot. The house has basically gained 70% of what you put in with zero risk whatsoever. The house had zero risk because it put nothing in. That's how they are rigged. They take percentages. Even if it's small percentages, if they're taking £7 off everyone's £10, it's not even taking it off, it's just taking small cuts out of your big bets. If they're taking that off every single person's $10, £10 bet, they are making a lot of money every day. And that's why you shouldn't bet, because people are always going to find a way to rig it. Now, it's not rigged. It's not like, oh, you have 0% chance of winning when I'm online. It's just taking that cut with zero risk. And I class that as rigging because, literally, there's no way they can lose. There's a way you can lose, and they make money you have a chance of making money so basically a reason why you shouldn't gamble I mean yeah it's fun if you really can control your addictions then I would say yeah have fun if you've got enough money have fun but if you're literally using the money you have for a day the money you have for a month or just everything you own I would say it's not worth it because there's always the additional percent chance that the house has and it will always be there it wouldn't be gambling without that percent chance so I'm just saying as most of my viewers are from Modern Warfare 2 they're mainly probably young I reckon um, don't gamble don't attempt to because there's really no point I lost all my money yeah you get to a point where it's like oh I'm making profit but then that percent chance takes it all away because that percent chance only needs to hit you once for it to get all of its money back. So I'd say just keep it minimal if you enjoy it, yeah. Don't use it at your own expense. Um, if you get case drops or whatever, sell them, yeah. Buy skins, do whatever. But it is all virtual. Remember, it's all virtual. It has no real-life value. If you could sell that Gamma case for £2, and then you could... Uh, get that two pound on OP skins and maybe withdraw, then you would be two pound richer. You would you would have two pound to spend on a couple cans of Pepsi or some sweets, bags of crisp, whatever. It's two pound more than you would have if you risked to uh, double it. Doubling it, yeah, four pound, right? You've just doubled it. You can buy twice the amount of crisp you have. But you have that, say, t just 10% chance of losing the entire thing when you could have had maybe two bags of crisp rather than four. It's all about greed. Don't get greedy. If, you, if the second you earn a penny above what you put on, withdraw because you are now a penny richer. There is no need to carry on going. It's all about greed. Don't get greedy. One penny richer is a penny more than you had, so take it and buy a penny sweet. That's all for today, sorry if it seemed a bit like a rant, but like I said, go check out Scars, and if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, comment, favourite and subscribe. Sorry about the slight whistle, I need to get that fixed, not too sure how. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, like I said, be please be sure to leave a like, comment, favourite and subscribe. If you enjoyed the um, surfing Please be sure to check out his YouTube channel. It will be down in the description below. I think it's HF Cerberus. He has some nice clips there. Check out his videos and goodbye.